So today's hunt is the Edgefield Street House, which is the largest of the modern style houses. We've got Crucifix, EMF, and A Photo of the Ghost as the optionals. There is actually a Crucifix here. Other than that, all the rest of this stuff is the same as before. Okay, so this is the entranceway. There's the green line there, so this is downstairs. I imagine that's the garage there. A few rooms. Upstairs, it looks like it's bigger, but that's only because the rooms are smaller, so that's going to be very claustrophobic. Apparently a six-bedroom house. And then that's the basement, which has a side room to it as well, which is interesting. But that's where the power is. Okay. I'm going to try and do the salt trick again. I think I've got a much better chance of getting it to work because of how thin this corridor is. So if I put like some at the top of the stairs, some in the middle, and some towards the end, I can search downstairs with a thermometer after that and have a decent chance of finding whereabouts upstairs it is, if it's not downstairs already. Okay. Away we go. Did I pick up the key? I did not. Usually I'm pretty good at remembering to do that, and we're nice and close to the front door actually. Usually we have like a, a long walk. Come on, open the door. There we are. Did that door just move? Or was that me on the stairs? Okay, put that there. Put that there. And then some there. There's a key here. Yeah, I swear I heard stuff move around already. Just throw that over there where I'm not going to see it again. And I'll take the EMF reader, since that's an optional. Okay, normal temperatures in here. Pretty normal in here too. That was a fun. Is there a fun in here? No, so I think it's upstairs, definitely, then. I thought I heard a door around this area, didn't I? Oh, five degrees? That door just moved. Okay, this room is 3 degrees, 2 degrees, 1 degree, 0 0.7, something just moved over there. Okay, it's either in here, or on the landing I think. Yeah, it's in here. 0 0.3, 0 0.8, okay, so we've got freezing. Go get some gear. Yeah, and there's a key in the front there. I'm pretty sure the car key is usually in those bowls by the doors. It makes sense. Okay, I'm actually going to take some more salt and a glow stick, because I really want to see these footprints. In fact, while I'm down here, I need to lock in freezing temperatures as well. Did it just turn the TV on in here? Oh, the radio. Oh, there. Yeah, it's right there. Huh. Okay, well, those footprints don't count as fingerprints evidence, just to clarify that as well. In case you're wondering why I'm not going to lock that in yet. It turned these lights out too. Interesting. 
So it's mainly played with electronics, so I'm leaning towards gin, just right off the bat. But it, gin isn't freezing temperatures, so that's wrong from the get-go. Okay, I'll take a video camera with me. Probably don't need the tripod, but... It's nice to be able to put it, like, in the doorway or something. How much time do we have? 50 seconds, okay. So we have long enough to get in, get set up, and get back out before we're vulnerable. Okay, let's put this right in the corner here. We'll put the book there. It's not giving off any EMF though. What's this? Oh, it's a can of salt. That's mine then. Did it turn off this light again? Hmm, maybe it's a myrrh. If it really doesn't like light that much. Okay. We're out of grass period time. I can't quite see the book at all. Maybe I can? Can't tell. I think I might get the other video camera in there, to be honest. Yeah, let's take the other video camera and... Hmm. What could it be? It could be Wraith, Phantom, Banshee, Mer, Demon, Yure. So most of them. So there's no point in narrowing down which types of evidence I take yet. I'm going to take the crucifix, and I'm going to put the crucifix in the ghost's room. Not only because that's a objective, but because that's a small room, and I believe it starts either in, or directly next to its room, whenever it starts a hunt. So I drop that there. It's right there. Okay, so good to know that the salt can trigger twice. Or maybe it just hit the other salt pile that it didn't before, but it was definitely right in that room I saw its footprints. That is pretty cool though, I do like that. Oh, I did it again, I didn't turn that camera on. Ugh, right. I will take the spread box and the UV light. Have I done any ob optional objectives? No crucifix, no EMF. Yeah, no EMF at all, which is really weird considering the EMF readers in that room turned on and the lights flickered. Okay, there's EMF. It's only two. Are you here? How old are you? Okay, well that was a big foot footstep, so it was definitely in the room, as I said that. So it's definitely not spirit- oh yeah, I was gonna check this. Okay, handprints. So it's not spirit box, and we have fingerprint evidence. I do just need to check for ghost orbs. So yeah, we've got the EMF redirect objective there. I can see the book from here, there's nothing in it. Can't quite see the EMF lights though. Probably want to reposition that. But we've got fingerprints, so we have a Wraith Banshee. That's Wraith or Banshee, okay. A Banshee will have EMF 5, and a Wraith will have Spirit Box. I reckon it's probably going to be the EMF-5 then, because we did the spirit box while it was right there with me. We haven't got the hunt with the crucifix, but the crucifix is right in the room, so maybe we could go for the ghost picture. Which will also give us a chance of getting our EMF reading. I could turn the spirit box on while I'm in there as well and try and talk to it a bunch. Because it works from being on the ground.
Okay. Are you here? Yeah, it's right there. Can you show yourself? Show yourself. Can you show yourself? Let me see you. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Where are you? Show yourself. Doesn't seem to be cooperating. Are you here? Can you show yourself? Where are you? Are you here? Hello? Ghosty? Ghosty Poos, where are you? Show yourself. EMF2. Can you show yourself? Show yourself. Let me see you. Where are you? Show yourself. Are you here? Give me a sign. It was there. I just missed it. Give me a sign. The thing you did last time, do it again, just longer. Show yourself. Can you show yourself? Okay, I don't think it's playing ball. Oh yeah, probably want to turn that off. Hmm, it opened a door behind me. And it turned off the light downstairs. Hmm, well it wasn't really interested in playing with us, was it? Oh, we stopped to hunt, though. So I pissed it off enough that it was going to hunt. Interesting. So we did not get a response from the spirit box. Banshee would be MF level 5. I think it's a Banshee then, isn't it? Because Wraith would be spirit box. So let's lock in Banshee. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. It's not showing itself. So what else can I do? And it was a Banshee, perfect. So we're almost level 5 now. So just before we start the second hunt as well, I just want to mention that we are going to do a bit of a vote once I've done all the maps. Find out what everybody's favourite is. Then once we work out the most popular one, we're going to do that one again in VR. Because I know that people do enjoy the VR quite a bit, as you've mentioned to me. Though I am enjoying like actually exploring the mechanics of the game at the moment. So as soon as I'm done doing that on every map, I'm more than happy to do the most popular one again in VR. Personally, I think it might be the prison for me. The prison looks really cool and I imagine that would be like really spooky in VR. But I think the prison is going to be the last map we end up doing just because it's on the public beta branch. So either when that gets added to the game properly, or just, you know, after we've done everything else. So I can go onto the beta branch and try out the prison. But yeah, on with the second hunt. A tough one. Ooh, violence. Okay, so this is going to be a violent ghost, is it? I'm going to turn these cameras on before I go in this time. So, dirty water, crucifix, and capture a photo. Alright, we're going with the salt strategy again. I'll take that. And I want my torch. Okay. Got the key. 
Okay, yep, I already took it. So, same strategies last time. Straight in, straight upstairs, salt down, and then we'll have a look downstairs. So there, here, and here. Take the key. Look at this, we're setting up for a speed run now. Take the key. Discard the salt. And I will take the crucifix, actually. We can drop that in the room we find to be the ghost room straight away. Oh, that went down to an 11. Hmm. Maybe the next room over then. Nothing in here. No here. What about in the back? Eleven back here again. Nine. Ten. I think it's in this little hallway here. Potentially. Yeah, it's right there, isn't it? Look at it. It's playing with stuff. Drop you. Immediately. Thanks. Didn't need us to see or anything. Yeah, it's this hallway. It's It followed me out the front door. It stepped right next to me as I came out. Okay, so we've got ourselves a bit of a trickster. Let's get these cams down. I think one at the front, and then one at the back. So one here. And then one way up the back where the back door is. Which I don't believe I can get out of, actually. It just stepped behind me. Okay. Hopefully it's not too difficult to get a response from this one then. I won't check for orbs now just because we have our grace period, so I can do stuff like this bird box pretty easily. Without like a massive amount of risk. Two minutes as well. We've got plenty of time. Okay, I'll drop that on the floor here. Are you here? What's your name? What do you want? Are you here? Are you here? Yeah, so it's this side here then. I'm gonna leave that there actually. Just so that if like I'm randomly talking it might respond to me. So I know when it's right next to me. Okay, next up, UV and book. And then we've got a minute left, so I'll quickly run in with these. So let's touch the switch. Fingerprints. I'll put that there. Turn this off. So we've got fingerprints and we got spirit box, so it could be a spirit wraith or a poltergeist. I don't see any orbs on this camera. I mean, sure, I just pissed away the last of my grace period, but that's fine. We got the crucifix down in that hallway, so it should protect us. This is looking straight down that hallway. If there's any ghost orbs there, we'll see them. Yeah, I see nothing. Okay. What haven't I taken in with me? Uh, there's my camera. Got more salt so I can see where it's moving exactly. Which will be useful for determining, you know, if I've got the exact room or if I need to move my cameras around a bit. Poltergeist would be ghost orbs. 
Wrath would be freezing temperatures. Was it Spirit Wrath Poltergeist? Yeah, so Ghost Writing, Freezing Temperatures, or Spirit Orbs, it has to be one of the three. Okay, I can just go straight back in and see if it's freezing. I might smudge the area as well, maybe? Just to stop it from potentially haunting me while I look for that last bit of evidence. Apparently all that does, according to the wiki, is it increases activity but prevents the ghost from hunting for a while. For like a minute or something. Do I not have any room for it? Uh, no, I have the UV light, I don't need that anymore. Okay. Let's go see what we can find. Apparently these things stop smoking as soon as they work as well. Oh, there they go, they went. Ghost riding, okay. Easy enough. In fact, I'll take that with me. No, wait, I'll bring the camera in. Because I can take pictures of evidence. So if I... Yeah, if I just take a picture of... This light switch, it should count as fingerprints. Can't even see it. Never mind, it's got a flash, hasn't it? Okay. Weird. Are you here? Yes. Easy money. So, ghostwriting, which makes it a spirit. So I have... Fingerprints, interaction. The spirit box there didn't count as an interaction, but I do have the fingerprints one. So yeah, that should be a bit of extra money. Well, that was a nice quick one, wasn't it? Prevent the ghost from hunting with a crucifix. I know it's in that back area. I have got one picture left. What's its name? Stephen Smith. Okay. It has to be done. You know exactly what I'm about to do. I think. Stephen Smith, 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 Stephen Smith. Show yourself. No? Not playing? Okay. It was worth a shot. Let's see if that counted on the crucifix. No, I guess the smudge sticks are still in effect. Oh well. Let's get out of here, we spent enough time here. And it was a spirit. So we've got a decent amount of money from the photos. Insurance? Apparently I used up some equipment? I don't think I did. Uh, objective 1 we got, the other objectives we didn't get because they didn't really touch anything. I've unlocked sanity pills and larger maps, which is good because I just ran out of small maps.